Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to extend out your electrical cable should you need to do so. So the first thing you want to ensure and the most important thing is just to make sure whatever circuit that you're going to be working on is safely isolated. Now there's a whole bunch of reasons why you might need to extend the cable out. Perhaps you cut them too short and you now need to extend the cable or you're moving something somewhere and you need to extend the cable out. So I'm going to show you a few different methods that you can use to safely extend these cables out. So it's a 2.5 mil socket circuit that we'll be extending out today in this example. So make sure you always use the appropriately sized cable. So I'll just use my wire strippers here to strip the cable. And I grab the earth cable and I just rip down the sheath with the earth cable. And then that allows me to take out my live and neutral cables. And then you can just use your wire strippers to strip down the cable. Easy as that. Or another option is just to use cable shears, which is also easy to do. It takes a little bit more practice, but once you get the knack of it, it's relatively easy to strip the cable. So the first option are these terminal strips. And all you need to do is just snip a piece off. And so what you would do is you just get your cable and you pop it in, loosen the screw off, pop it in, then you tighten it up. Like so. And then you just get your other cable and you extend it, pop it in that side and then tighten down the screw. Pop your extended piece of cable into the terminal block. Tighten it down. And there you go, you've extended out your cable. These can be quite bulky and you do need a tool or screwdriver to do these up. Um, there are better options on the market in my opinion that are easier to use. So let's move on to them now. So the next option is the ideal inline connector and these are real simple to attach to the wires. You literally just push them on and as you can see they bite on really really well. Get your earth cable or CPC and you just extend the wire out like so. Pop it on this side and that cable is now firmly in. I'm not that big a fan of this method because it's quite difficult to remove these connectors. So I'll show you a better connector now that I prefer. Now my favorite method for extending cables is using these inline splice connectors from Wago. They're really easy to use. They've got levers. So all you do is pull the lever up, pop the connector in, and then close the lever down. It's as simple as that. And then get your extended bit of cable, the live wire, pop it in that side, close the lever, and job done. Really is that easy. So these are definitely my favorite way of connecting and extending wires. And these Wagos can accommodate a range of different sizes for your cable from 0.2 mil right the way up to 4 mil. And the other thing I like about it is there's a little diagram there where it shows you how much to strip off your cable. So 11 mil, which is quite a handy little feature as well. So there's three different methods for extending out your cables. My preferred method is the Wago inline connector, but all three of these methods are perfectly fine to use. Now another method you could use is crimping the cable, so I'll show you how to do that now. So you get various size crimps, we're going to be using the 2.5mm crimps for the 2.5mm cable. Then you want to grab your crimping tool, so you've got various different slots here. The red one is for the smaller cables, the blue one for the cable we'll be doing, the 25 and the yellow for the larger size cables. And like I say, we'll be using the blue slot today. So grab your crimp and pop it onto the end of the cable. 
Then grab your crimping tool and put it into the appropriately sized slot and squeeze down the handle and that has crushed the crimp onto our wire. Then go ahead and grab your extended piece of wire, pop it in the crimp, line the tool up with the crimp and crush down on it. And that has ensured a good firm connection. Let's move that cable out of the way and do the other two wires. So pop the crimp on, crush the crimp onto the wire, put your extension piece into the other side of the crimp and make off the connection. And finally it's the same process again for the live wire so pop the crimp on, make the connection, pop your extension piece in the other side and there you go all three connections made off. And so I do like this method, uh, it's another effective method to use, however my favourite method as I mentioned earlier on is the Wagos, I think they're the best and most efficient way to connect and extend wires. Um, just want to say thanks very much for watching guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next video.